All right, welcome to the junior suite at the Grand Palladium in Basai here in Brazil. As immediately when you walk in the front door to your right is the bathroom, the giant soaking tub with jets and towel rack, clothes rack, a movable shower head and some toiletries. They do have a double sink here on the vanity, which is really nice. And a couple glasses for water, magnifying mirror for doing makeup. The voltage is not uh, American standard. It's a 220 volt, so you'll need to bring a converter. But they do have a hair dryer already for you. And then the toilet um, with, uh, it looks like a little uh, bidet um, hose. Telephone here in the bathroom. Big double closet. I'm gonna Okay, baby. We've got a couple extra pillows up top, some nice robes, lots of hangers and storage. There is a iron and ironing board in there. And then on the other side here, it's my little guy watching TV or trying to. There is a safe, several cubbies for storage, and it looks like a scale. There's a nice um, kind of built-in marble luggage rack with a bottom shelf maybe for shoes or for other storage. Our luggage is already there. Full-length mirror, large full-length mirror. Very nice display for... Can I set the time, Mommy? Mommy, just turn the air down a little bit for the AC. A large king size bed, side bed side dresser, again with a mommy, mommy. vault. Sure, mommy, baby. We have a TV here. It looks like they have cable. There's Wi-Fi throughout, free Wi-Fi throughout the hotel. Um, we have had a crib brought in for our littlest one, who's a year and a half. And that fits really nicely there, kind of out of the way. Down here is a little fridge. Oh, with sodas and waters. Wonderful. Okay, let's shut that. And over here, what's here, Sawyer? You gonna help me? Oh, some coffee cups with sugar and cream. Some little, a little, looks like a little coffee maker back there. And some snacks. Do you wanna have a cracker? This is an all-inclusive hotel, so all the sodas, beers, all those water bottles, everything you saw is all included. You can have as much as you'd like. A little vanity, maybe for doing makeup or work, I suppose, if you needed to. A small table and chairs here, a cafe table and chairs. This bed makes out into, I would say, a double. And this is where Sawyer slept last night, so it's pretty comfortable for the little ones. Uh, this other side of the bed, there's another plug. Uh, no USB ports, it looks like, which is kind of unfortunate. But a big, deep drawer for storage and another telephone for calling the front desk and things. And then I will show you quickly. It's a pretty good sized room, to be honest. This opens, so, you know, <laughs> maybe not the greatest set up for kids but certainly not a bad setup um, because you can open up to the tub on either side which is kind of cool everything was pretty good for us last night we did get moved to a fresh room there was a bit of a mold problem which was unfortunate but here we'll go out the sliding patio door there's blackout curtains um, a screen for bugs table and chairs out here on the small little veranda and our view is kind of here of the trees and the landscaping you can't see it but just past that red emergency box 
is the pool. You could certainly hear it. This is our first day at the Grand Palladium in Basai in the northern part of Brazil, famous for their beaches. This gigantic area is the one of the kids' pools. See, there are two different tiers here. This is Vivian, just up to her ankles. She's one and a half. Sawyer over there is crawling. And then it drops probably to a foot or more in that center area. So this is super nice. Lots of big loungers around that are fairly shaded. Lush greenery. As you can see, it's a very busy today, but the kid pool area right here at least is quiet and pretty peaceful. We're having a beautiful time at this resort. I will definitely show you more pools later. Lots of shaded areas. And then over here is the main pool. We've got these built-in pool loungers and a big swim-up pool bar. It is an all-inclusive resort, so all the drinks are included. And these loungers are everywhere. It's a super family-friendly resort, so kids are welcome pretty much everywhere, but there is one pool that is adult only. There is the activity center. It's also where you can get your towels. You're given a towel card at check-in, one per person in your room, and then you use that to redeem for a towel, and then when you return your towel, they give you the card back, and so it kind of cuts down on just wasted towels, which is nice. It's a big center area of this pool, and then like I said, it all kind of centers around this pool bar. Beyond the pool bar is the pool restaurant that serves uh, lunch buffet style um, and you can get a plate and come back to the pool or you can eat here in their dining area. They, it's uh, open air but it is um, covered so it's shaded and there's fans. But this is a big open area. This is kind of a cool area with these jets and they have these aerobic bicycles. Um, again, that's nice. The deep part um, is, I'm 5'4", and so it wasn't quite over my head, but it was close, the deepest, deepest part. They have all these tiers and all these little places to sit and cool off, put your feet in. So it's really nice. It's a really nice pool. Those loungers are obviously quite popular, but it seems like there's always one available. Um, and as long as you get here, you know, in the morning and put a towel out, you'll have a nice spot out of the sun. All right. The next thing I want to show you is there in the distance. I'm going to walk you over. It is the kiddie aquatic area with tons of slides and splash pad area. So this is the aquatic center. For kiddos and families, you can see there are several different types of slide. The alligator slide, there's a boat, a palm tree with a parrot that sprinkles water. There's a bucket that dumps water. Four large slides from a platform. Uh, and then two more kitty slides, a fish and a frog. Um, the water is knee deep on a kid, so pretty, could be pretty deep for a toddler, but as long as you're with them, they seem to do just fine. The slides all have these jets that spray out to keep it wet and slippery. There is a waterfall there, which is kind of cool. In the distance, so you can play in the waterfall, you can play at all these you know, splashing buckets and sprayers. There's lots of slides. See there, it's knee deep on an adult mom. So, um, 
So yeah, it's it's not it's perfect for kids. Toddlers probably need floaties like this little guy. They have an included kids club. It doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be super popular here in Brazil to leave kiddos without a family member. So I've not seen a ton of people. I would say a very full resort over the weekend. The biggest kids club class I saw was maybe six or eight kids. But they do have that and they have camp counselors. They call them aunties that supervise the kids and take them on activities. Also right beside the pool, I'm gonna try to go up this ramp. There's another bathroom here. Several bathrooms throughout the pool area just kind of tucked into some of the main buildings. So up this ramp in here, some shade and stuff for kids. Um, foosball tables and a little picnic area so this is the mini club for kids 4 to 12 and a little place for their shoes I don't think it's open but maybe we'll stick our camera in and see Yeah, it's closed, but they have places for the kids to come and watch movies, get out of the sun. There's beanbag chairs all around for lounging and resting, and then a little kid's bathroom in there. So as my kids are getting too much sun, these areas might be a good place to explore for sure and <laughs> get out of the sun for a bit. Um, so this is the baby club and again there are counselors here but it's you don't leave your child your baby with zero to three year old it, mom and dad are required to come with them but we could come in here and play there are again a little dollhouse and toys um, dress up clothes which is really cute and just a place to be in the shade and be out of the sun really and there are counselors that are there that would interact with them and maybe color and play games. But mom and dad would need to be present in this particular age group as well. There's also a little kitchenette for kids right off the main area. They have baby food and yogurt and things like that. So that's very convenient. They're, like I said, super family friendly, so you can come get water here, heat bottles. Um, they stock formula and baby food, and it's all complimentary. So it's been really great. We've used it several times for Vivian, especially as she's still drinking milk a couple times a day. We didn't have to worry about bringing our own milk or keeping it in our small little cooler in the room. Um, so that's been really great. We're now coming out of the steps of the kids' centers, and there is a big playground with the padded surface again because it is hot really hot here I mean all of it the stuff is plastic but still sometimes my guess is it gets too hot for the little ones to play and then this big round center area is a giant splash pad my three-year-old loved it my one-year-old thought the jets were too strong and they are quite strong so um, maybe not good for baby babies, but for toddlers and up, a pretty good spot. This is the one of the shuttle transports that take you to the beach, so give you beach access. It's open air, pretty cool. Say ciao ciao. Uh, if you choose not to use the shuttle bus, you can rent these bicycles um, these little carts or you can do what Vivian and I are doing can you say hello hello I definitely recommend bringing a stroller we 
weren't sure, but ciao ciao! But we are so glad we ended up bringing the stroller, especially one with big kind of jogger style wheels because it is a bit rocky certain parts of the terrain. But this is the nice walkway to the beautiful beach. So let's go. We've made it up past the nature reserve walkway to the Grand Palladium's private beach access. I could go up that little path up over the bluff, but since I have the stroller, we will go this walkway to the main area. These giant hammocks. Really pretty. That's the resort back there in the distance. Swinging here. It's cool. Some loungers, more hammocks. Overlooking the bridge we walk through, that's the nature preserve. So, this is one of their beach areas that are meant for kind of like side snacks, bars, I think they do serve lunch out here so you don't have to go back to the hotel for food. You can stay all day at the beach. Just come here for lunch when it's served. They've got changing rooms and even a little kids center over there which I will try to show you later. There is a warning for jellyfish at this beach and I get there also, as I said, it's a nature preserve. They do a lot of education about the sea turtles here. And so a really cute little photo opportunity with kiddos there. So here we are, our first look at the beach. It is windy, those waves look great. A beautiful, beautiful day here at Embassy. This is in the northern Bahai region of Brazil. And it is stunning. So they have some wheelchairs for people with limited mobility that can still go on the sand, a place to rent surfboards maybe, and boogie boards. Lots and lots of loungers and shade. And there is my little beach bum already begging to go down to the water. Here we are at the beach. It's quite the party. There's dancing there on the beach. They're doing some kind of aerobic dancing. There's lots of these cabanas that offer some shade. Loungers, all complimentary. And then this is a little different than in the States. There's a lot of these kiosks for swimsuits and flip-flops and cover-ups and beach boards and then this is the great view this beautiful view it's beautiful uh, definitely testing the wind jammer again today because the wind is super strong but it's quite a party here at the beach there's some music there's this gorgeous coastline with the palm trees and just the sand, sandy beach as far as the eye can see along the coast here in Embasai. 
more surfboards for rent and kiosks and the cabanas. Beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Blue sky, some clouds. Just gorgeous.